killed my father, he killed my brother, and both my sisters. Pancreatic cancer killed them all. We don't know how or why they got it, but we knew it, and it was already too late. There still isn't any way to detect it early or to treat it effectively. But we do know the cure, research. Just look how far we've come with other diseases. It's the 10th annual MTV 2001 Movie Awards, the show that has brought you nights to remember, filled with hysterical spoofs, live music, and tons of clips from the flicks you find simply fabulous. Tune in June 7th at 9 Eastern Pacific, 8 Central, to see host Jimmy Fallon and Kirsten Dunst celebrate glamour, action, and romance. Brought to you by Hyundai, where driving is believing. Test drive one at your local Hyundai dealer today. For the biggest stars in the biggest movies, go in. It's a month of mega movies on in-demand pay-per-view. See the biggest movies for the first time on television with a touch of a button. You have the power. And every mega movie you order helps In Demand make a contribution to the Starlight Children's Foundation. With In Demand pay-per-view, rent a movie tonight without leaving home. You rule. The Leaders, brought to you by the Commonwealth of Virginia. Virginia is for business. Welcome back. We lost more jobs again last month. The good news is not as many as we thought we would, which has a lot of folks saying we've rounded the band. Labor Secretary Elaine Chao told me earlier she agrees. I think it's uh, fair to say that today's numbers are better than most people expect, uh, certainly what the market expected. Uh, and the unemployment rate among um, certain uh, groups, such as African Americans and Hispanic Americans, have certainly improved. So overall, the numbers um, seem to have stable, the unemployment number seems to have stabilized for the first time in eight months. We have not seen a decline. But I hasten to uh, jump to conclusions because there are darknesses on the uh, horizon. For example, the manufacturing sector continues to lose jobs. As I've mentioned in the past, our economy is going through a transformation from the manufacturing sector to the service sector. And so the manufacturing sector continues to lose jobs. The problem is that they lose jobs at a rate we have not seen since the last yes. recession. That's the one problem. Do you think we're going to have a split economy that factories stink? Anything that they are not well, having anything to do with factories do not stink. Well, I, you know, I talk a lot about the 21st century workforce. And the skills gap is certainly one of the issues that uh, characterizes this new economy. And secondly, it's a shrinking workforce. And thirdly, it's this bifurcated workforce that we're talking about, you and I, that you have just mentioned as well. We're having a summit on June 20th to talk about these issues, the skills gap, the shrinking workforce, uh, the changing complexion of the, uh, the workforce, and the changing conditions at the workplace. And we're going to start tackling uh, some of these issues and uh, talk a lot more about how we as a nation need to address some of these issues. One of the things that Treasury Secretary O'Neill has indicated, ma'am, is that uh, maybe the sooner folks get their hands on those rebate checks and those ca tax cuts, the better things will be. It does not look like that will come until likely the fall, though. Uh, well, the do, what do you think is the case right now? Well, the president uh, had a major victory in uh, passing his tax um, reform bill. He's going to sign it next week. And so I think there's a lot of anticipation and excitement about that. The rebate checks should be cut by, uh, I think, this fall. So I do, so Secretary, I, you know, the Secretary of Treasury uh, uh, is certainly correct in saying that uh, we hope that there will be an added stimulus. But the do you worry, do you you worry though, say, Secretary, that, that uh, it actually hurts you, though, that, that people might be looking forward to that money and they don't plan to spend diddly until they get that money, compounding the very problems you're trying to address? I think people uh, have uh, a longer-term point of view, and they understand that uh, once the bill is passed into law, the president signs it, the rebate checks are coming, the expectations uh, will be there. And that's a very important um, word, expectations. Certainly, if the environment is better, the mood of the economy, uh, the consumer public is better, uh, I think that will be translated into the numbers. Unemployment numbers may be down, but many companies don't think things are looking up the solution, putting in the hours and looking good doing it. Perfect Commerce CEO Kevin Serace joins us now from Palo Alto to talk about the workplace turnaround. So now apparently we're all nervous and dressing up, huh? 
Hi, Neil. How you doing? I'm fine. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you know, uh, they may be saying, and the Labor Secretary may be saying uh, that jobs are moving from uh, manufacturing to, uh, to the service sector, but it's not moving to technology yet, that's for sure. So now people are dressing up. Look at you. You got the tie and the, you know, everything. <laughs> well, what, what's I, going I, on? People paranoid or what? I, 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 Paranoid, I, I would say, uh, I would say that uh, people have to be uh, a little uh, different feeling than there was two years ago in the valley, or a year and a half ago in the valley, when, uh, when in fact everything was was looking up. There was uh, just a ton of money. Every company had multi-billion-dollar market caps. That's not the case anymore. So why do we get dispensed with the Cash Friday thing? Why, why did that go? <laughs> Uh, we still have cash Fridays, but it's not cash every day, that's for sure anymore. And the bosses are trying to make us feel guilty if we take a weekend off, right? I think that, uh, I, I think that uh, productivity has to be higher. Look, uh, you know, the bottom line is corporations are not buying software as fast as they were. They're not buying PCs as fast as they were. Uh, and, and that has a dramatic impact on the Valley, dramatic impact on that free-spiriting thing that was happening in Silicon Valley for, for five, uh, four or five years during the Internet. Kevin, the Labor Secretary said we're rounding the bend. Do you buy that? No. Why not? I, I really don't. I think uh, what we're seeing is uh, continued weakness in manufacturing. When you see weakness in manufacturing, uh, those companies aren't buying technology. They're not buying PCs to replace what they have. They're not buying software to replace what they have. And, and because they're not buying those, that impacts the Valley, the combination of that and, and literally two or three trillion dollars being taken out of market caps in the valley mm. is, uh, is significant. I don't, I don't think we generally see a recovery for another six to nine months, probably in the spring of 2002. All right, Kevin, you've thoroughly depressed me, but you look natty doing it, so I appreciate that. Kevin <laughs> Trace in Palo Alto, California. Coming up in the next half hour, is it just that movies are bad, or is that R rating coming back to bite movie makers right at the bottom line? We're going to tell you. And controversy at the Tonys. This year's hosts are also up for a couple of top honors. Isn't that getting just a little too cozy? Maybe not, but we'll ask it after this. Son, I think it's time we had that little talk. Okay, Dad. Well, I know it's kind of awkward, but you're old enough now, and it's time you learned about supply chain management. See, it's all about businesses sourcing materials and delivering products to market more efficiently. You follow? Okay, so not everyone understands supply chain management, but we do. CNF. We straighten out supply chains for leading companies worldwide. CNF, where supply meets demand. Announcing more bad news for your signs of aging. New total effects with vitaniacin and UV protection. The revolutionary formula that fights seven signs of aging. Plus, it actually helps prevent UV damage to collagen and elastin, one of the major causes of premature aging. I want to do more than just fight a few signs of aging. I want to stop it in its tracks. Why settle for anything less than total effects from Olay? Proven to fight seven signs of aging. Now with UV protection. We can't help but be amazed at the instincts they possess to protect all manner of livestock, to be protective of us and our children. What can we do to protect them? Help them live healthier, longer, using the natural body defense system in Pedigree. Pedigree, developed with vets, recommended by top breeders. They were so young and did so much, but that was more than half a century ago. Now the members of the great generation that won World War II are leaving us, about a thousand of them every day. And yet there is no national memorial to honor their sacrifice. It is time to say thank you. Call now and help build the National World War II Memorial on the Mall in Washington, D.C. Tonight, Tennessee volunteers a new driver's license plan that many aliens are finding totally foreign. What's the controversy all about, and why are some saying the governor should think about making a U-turn on the whole idea? Answers on part four of our special series on the Fox Report with Shepard Smith. Then, he served and paid the price. Now, Bob Dole thinks it's time to pay tribute to our World War II fallen by raising a new memorial in D.C. And we'll hook up with Arthel on the O'Reilly Factor. It's the most powerful primetime lineup in sight, only on the Fox News Channel. Live, I'm Patty Ann Brown. A teen member of an Idaho family may help end a standoff with deputies. The